Indeed, safety of lives and property must be a priority for security authorities. Tweet to us at Just Nigeria TV. would like to hear from you. Moving on, let's talk about survival. With the fighting in Sudan getting more intense, more countries are moving to evacuate their citizens and Nigeria is not left out. The first batch of evacuees are now en route Nigeria and they have been sharing difficult experiences about their journey on social media. In this story, Just Nigeria's Abayomi Adisa documents the travel experience of Sumaya, a Nigerian medical student, as she journeys out of Sudan. Fear, despair and desperation has been what we've all been feeling since this conflict started. And as the day goes by, we're feeling more agitated. The situation we really want to get out of this place urgently. There have been cases of stabbing, looting, and stealing from other uh, innocent civilians, and especially foreigners like me. Many of us not having our passports because it's currently with our universities. Many people are already living in this place because, I mean, this uh, the pick-up venue because I think we're told that um, um, the buses, there are no buses coming here today. After staying in the sun for 12 hours, we were still not able to go, I mean, to get any buses to board. We've been staying here in the bus since then. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know who to call. It's just, just so, so hot and stuff in the bus. The engines are not on, so we can't use the AC. Like, and we are already um finishing our provisions we're supposed to use on the journey. It is currently 2.55 p.m. and we've been uh, on a break or a stop in the middle of nowhere. We don't know what's happening. This stop started around 5 a.m. Hopefully, Sumaya and many more like her will arrive in Nigeria safely. Stop.